Qualcomm has been quite busy releasing processors in its 700 series. For example, the Snapdragon 730G is used by the Xiaomi Poco X2. There's also the Snapdragon 720G, which is used by the Redmi Note 9 Pro. 720G versus 730G. Which one do you think is going to win? Well, let's find out. So we have the Redmi Note 9 Pro with the Snapdragon 720G on the left hand side with the Xiaomi Poco X2 with the Snapdragon 730G on the right hand side. So 720G on the left, 730G on the right. Now both devices are running in 1080p. Now a sorry, sorry about the uh, blue tint on the left hand side, that's just the white balance on the camera that was used to record this test run. Doesn't affect the test run itself and does not reflect the real color of the Redmi Note 9 Pro. And as I'm saying that, it's looking pretty much neck and neck or slight lead there by the Poco X2 with the 730G, so it was the first into the compression test. Both devices now zipping up files, unzipping them, zipping them up to see how well it can handle that task. And we're going to see which one is going to get to the end of this test first. Now, or later on, of course, we've got the mixed CPU. G and as I said, that we're going to the 16 thread test, and that was pretty much neck and neck. I couldn't, didn't notice which one got there first. It was pretty close. Maybe a slight lead by the Redmi Note 9 Pro. We'll see as we get to the end of this test which one's going to come out of it first. As we come to the end, these 16 threads are all working very well there we go so actually it was the redmi night known pro that got there first and of course there's lots of discussion what is the difference between the 720g and the 730g they both seem to have the similar cpu setup they both seem to have a similar gpu setup is it to do with the caches is it to do with other things we just don't know but at the moment this is looking pretty close with a slight lead by the redmi note 9 pro as we went into the infinite scoring let's see what the smoke particle test frame rate gives us on the left hand side i think we're going to see the left hand side figure first what's it going to be 19 frames a second on the right hand side 18 frames a second that's not what we're expecting at all since the 730d should be faster now as we go into unity test let's have a look in the top right hand corner to see what screen resolution these two devices are going to be running out so the first one in there was the poco x2 and it's running in 1834 by 859 at 120 hertz so it isn't running at 1080p but if you look at the left hand side that is actually running in 1080p at 60 hertz so what happens in my benchmark if the device cannot run it at the higher screen resolution it drops it down and until it can find a resolution that the device is capable of showing. So the Poco X2 is running at a lower screen resolution because it can't run it at the higher screen resolution. The Redmi Note 9 Pro is running at 1080p and therefore it seems to be a little slower as it's pushing more pixels around the screen. It was neck and neck up until now and they both got the same GPU in them but it looks like the 730G is going to win the day here because of that lower screen resolution because the device couldn't run it in 1080p. So what we're going to see now to get to the end of this Unreal test. Again, sorry about the white balance there on the left hand side. There's not a true reflection of the uh, colors on the Note 9 Pro. There we go. What's the spoil going to be on the right-hand side? It's going to be any moment now. There it is. 2 minutes 34.2 on the left-hand side. We're waiting now as the Redmi Note 9 Pro finishes its test run at 1080p through exactly that same forest. What's it going to be? There we go. 2 minutes 43.7. Okay, let's break down those scores and see exactly what happened. So as we saw there, the Poco X2 came in first, two minutes, 34.2, and then nine and a half seconds later came in the Redmi Note 9 Pro at two minutes, 43.7. We look at the CPU times, incredibly close there, 59.2 versus 59.8, giving us a very interesting reading on what the CPU configuration like is in the 720 compared to the 730. When we get to the mixed CPU, GPU, again, a win by the Redmi Note 9 Pro, 30.9 versus 32.1. But then when we get to the GPU, it all changed from 1 minute 13.5 for the Redmi Note 9 Pro, and then 11.3 seconds quicker, the Xiaomi Poco X2 finished with 1 minute 2.2. And because of that enormous win there, uh, in the GPU test, it came in overall the winner, 2 minutes 34.2. My name is Gary Sims, this is Speed Test G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.